In Sporty News Today, J.R. Smith cycles at night with his fans. Olivier Giroud to change championships. Jessica Ennis and Tyson Gay race time. Serge Betson hangs up his cleats. And Jocko hangs out with Bob Sinclair. J.R. cycles with his fans. No doubt about it, J.R. Smith is a character. The New York Knicks shooting guard organized a nocturnal bicycle rally with his Twitter followers in the streets of New York. The player, who's reportedly been dating Rihanna for several weeks now, extended an invitation to his 120,000 followers via the social networking site. How many people want to ride bikes with me at 2 a.m.? Simple, to the point, and pretty surprising for an NBA star. J.R. Smith followed up with a meeting time and place a few minutes later. 2.30 a.m. on 66. And as promised, J.R. Smith met up with a dozen nightbirds in Manhattan for a bicycle ride around Madison Square Garden. Here are a few snaps he posted in real time, just like a reporter. A memorable night for all the fans who took part in the outing or who just happened to stumble across this unusual rally. Olivier Giroud is on Arsenal's radar. The London club's coach Arsene Wenger has allegedly expressed interest in the Frenchman as a replacement for Dutch striker Robin van Persie if he were to leave the team. With 21 goals in 36 games, Giroud has just ended the season as the French league's top scorer. Arsenal are said to be considering signing the Montpellier player. Reports say that the Gunners are prepared to pay $23 million for the striker or $8.5 million with Marouane Chamac. Giroud is currently completely focused on the French Euro 2012 campaign and will have to wait for the end of the tournament to decide on his future. One thing is certain, the striker won't be short on offers. Liverpool and Newcastle are also scouting the French player. To be continued. Ready, set, go! The official timekeeper of the Olympic Games has launched its new advertising campaign. The very first spot features an all-star cast. With brand ambassadors including American sprinter Tyson Gay, swimmer Natalie Collin, and English track and field star Jessica Ennis. We'll let you savor the unique moments that precede the starter's pistol. Tray Sports will of course be in London to help you experience the games firsthand. Serge Betson hangs up his cleats. The former Biarritz Olympique and France rugby player has decided to retire at 38 after an incredible career. Considered one of the best tacklers in the world, he won three French championship titles and two World Cups with the French team. For his Jubilee game, Betson called on rugby heavyweights, including New Zealand's Tana Umaga, England's Johnny Wilkinson, and France's Fabien Pelous, Christophe Dominici, and Yannick Josion. The team, handpicked by Serge Betson himself, will play against the legendary President's 15, comprising players selected to tour with the France national team in Argentina in June. A first for a jubilee. The big event will take place in Biarritz, the Cameroon-born player's hometown. Ça fait 20 ans que je suis arrivé à Biarritz en 91. I arrived in Biarritz 20 years ago, back in 91. I've had an extraordinary life thanks to this sport. Découvrir des sensations, des des choses euh, très très touchantes et donc euh, it's allowed me to travel, experience new things, and be moved in new ways. Avec beaucoup, 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 beaucoup de satisfaction par rapport à mon parcours, par rapport à à ce que le rugby m'a apporté. I'm really gutted to have to stop, but I'm very satisfied with my career and with what rugby has helped me become. I want to share this with the public, with rugby fans, and with all the generations of players I met during my time with Biarritz and the French national team. Biarritz, une équipe de France. Before competition kicked off at the second Grand Slam tournament of the season, there was a laid-back atmosphere at the French Open. On Saturday, May the 26th, Kids Day brought the best active and retired players in the world together on Philippe Chatrier court. Novak Djokovic, Andy Murray, Roger Federer were all there to play exhibition matches before a crowd of 15,000. And for the second consecutive year, so was DJ Bob Sinclair. The superstar DJ manned the decks for two hours and even worked his magic on the court. So Bob, what's more daunting, performing for a huge crowd or facing the greatest tennis players in the world? 
It's easier when you know what you're doing than when you're playing tennis with a crowd of 20,000 people staring as you face off against Mario Djokovic. And they're saying, OK, can't you do something about your forehand? It was terrible. I started playing when I was eight, but I have no talent. That's the sad part. Roland Garros Kids Day takes place every year to raise funds for associations supporting children in need.